Dum 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 Hey what's up guys welcome to explore with Trishana So guys today I'm going to cover a really interesting topic that is heat from class 7 NCRT Of course I'm not going to complete the whole chapter I'm going to complete the basics like different types of thermometer like measure of hotness and coldness of the object and temperature So let's dig in So our first topic is hot and cold Like in a daily life we have different objects that are hot and cold can you give me some examples? If I would say uh, like pizza, uh, I know we love pizza and pizza is hot, like we uh, like eating it hot. So pizza is hot and if uh, I talk about cold, cold uh, let's say ice or ice cream. We love ice cream, don't we? So ice cream is cold. Now can you tell me how we get to know that, uh, get to know that uh, uh, this ice cream is cold and pizza is hot? How? Yes. With a sense of touch, if we would uh, touch ice cream or we would feel ice cream, we would feel, yes, it's really cold. So, now let's come to an activity which would tell us that always our sense of touch is not reliable. So, you will take three bowls. Let's name them Katora 1, Katora 2 and Katora 3. In the Katora 1, I mean the bowl 1, let's put our fist and it consists of hot water. It contains hot water. Put the fist in the hot water. What do you notice? Yes, your fist will be really hot, isn't it? Now, keep your another fist in the Katora 3. You will feel, yes, it's really cold. Now, put both of the fists in the Katora 2. Hmm, it's not too cold, it's not too hot. Like, we can't guess, like, is it hot or is it cold? So that means, our sense of touch is not reliable always. So, we need a device that, uh, that helps us to measure temperature. And what is that device? Of course, it's a thermometer. And of course, there is not only one type of thermometer. There are different types of thermometer to measure different types of things. Like uh, temperature of body, uh, human body or uh, to measure the temperature of the um, like objects. So today we are going to cover clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer. And before that, let me tell you what is temperature. The degree measure of hotness and coldness of the object is temperature and also temperature consists of three units kelvin celsius and fahrenheit so now we are going to uh, do with lab, uh, the clinical thermometer now can you tell me that why is clinical thermometer used like is it used to measure the temperature of a human body is it used to measure temperature of things of course not it is used to measure the temperature of a human body like whenever you have a fever mama comes running and she says oh keep the thermometer thermometer low and yes, we put the thermometer in our mouth and then she takes out the thermometer and then she measures, yes, the te uh, temperature. Like it's for 2 degrees Celsius, 35 degrees Celsius and all. So clinical thermometer is used to measure the temperature of our body. Of course, there are some precautions and you know how to read uh, temperature in clinical thermometer. Before that, let me explain you the complete diagram of a clinical thermometer. Clinical thermometer consists of a long narrow tube. Uspe patli si no long narrow tube hoti hai. Jo hum aise jab hum pakadte hain, ye long narrow tube hoti. Choti si hoti hai aur patli si long narrow tube. Uske aage ek chota sa bulb hota hai, jisko hum mouth mein rakhte hain. Aur it has a thin mercury thread of red in color. So now let's come to the precautions that should be taken while you know measuring the temperature. Or while uh, reading the thermo uh, temperature in the thermometer. First precaution. Thermometer should be always kept in an antiseptic solution. Now can you guys guess that why is it so? Why we need to keep the thermometer in antiseptic solution? Of course. If you would not keep it in the antiseptic solution. What we would notice. Like um, suppose let's say. Um, like your brother has high fever. He is taking the thermometer out, putting in his mouth, measuring the temperature and he says, yes, I have high fever, 42 degrees Celsius. Then you would notice, if, you are, if he is not keeping it in the antiseptic solution, not washing the thermometer, what would you notice? You will keep it in the mouth, you also want to measure your body temperature and what you will go? You will have high fever. Yes, because the thermometer is not washed. Plus, the bacteria in his mouth will transfer into your mouth as well. So always thermometer should be washed or kept in an antiseptic solution. Next is the 
always ensure that the mercury level of the thermometer should be below 35 degrees Celsius or 35 degrees Celsius. While reading the thermometer, never hold the thermometer like bulb. Of course, you would not keep the hold the thermometer like bulb. It is not good. You should always keep hold the thermometer like this, horizontally, because the bulb is in your mouth. So always don't, uh, never hold the thermometer by the bulb. Third, handle the thermometer with care. Of course, let me tell you an important thing. Clinical thermometers. Mercury is toxic. Yes, it is toxic. And if it would break, like it is toxic, you can die as well. So, mercury in the clinical thermometer is toxic. So, you need to handle it with really care. I mean, uh, you would say that uh, uh, why do, do uh, clinical thermometer has mercury? And why do we use clinical thermometer then if uh, clinical thermometer has mercury? Well, in some cases, it does not break always. Like, if you will handle it with really uh, care, it would not break. Until and unless you are going to break it and then put it in your mouth, you would not, uh, you are, you are not cause to death. So that means, mercury is toxic, but it is uh, secure in the clinical thermometer's tube. And nowadays, in fact, we use uh, digital thermometers. Uh, yeah, digital thermometer does not consist of mercury, and that's a really good thing. So this was a brief introduction about the digital thermometers. So this is what is clinical thermometer. And one more important thing. Clinical thermometer ranges from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. Because what happens is that if you have to measure your temperature, you have to measure your temperature from 35 degrees. It never happens. Or 42 degrees from 42 degrees. So this is what the, why the reason is like 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. Now next is laboratory thermometer. Well, you, you must have not uh, learned about laboratory thermometer, but it's a really interesting type of thermometer actually. It consists of a long narrow tube. When I'm saying long, it means it is actually really long. Like if you will take clinical thermometer in one hand, if you will hold a laboratory thermometer, you would see the difference like uh, of the length. It is really short and it is really, really long. And its temperature scales are from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. So, as I th said, that laboratory thermometer is quite, quite, quite long. Like, if you keep clinical thermometer in one hand and laboratory thermometer in uh, one hand, you would notice that it is really short and it is really, really long. It also consists of mercury and it also consists of a small bulb. Now, important thing is, it, uh, its uh, temperature scales are from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. Now, you would ask me that, Prashanna, why is it so? Like in clinical thermometer, it was from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. But why uh, this is, uh, is this in laboratory thermometer? Like minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. This is because that laboratory thermometer is used to uh, measure the temperature of uh, any type of object. You are measuring the temperature of ice, you are measuring the temperature of boiling water. So you never know what is the temperature of the boiling water and ice. So that's why its temperature scales are from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degree Celsius. Now, of course, there are some precautions that are needed uh, in laboratory thermometer as well. So, precaution number one. Always should be kept upright. Never tilted. As you have to keep your thermometer in your thermometer. And it means that you have to keep your beaker. You have taken a beaker. You have kept it tilted. No. It should always be upright. And the bulb should be surrounded from all sides by the substance of which you are measuring the temperature. Yes, of course. Bulb, just like bulb, okay? You should, uh, like you are uh, measuring the temperature of, um, let's say, ice. So, I should surround air in each and every side of the laboratory thermometer. I mean, ice is happy, 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 So, this is important thing. The third precaution is, that the bulb, the laboratory thermometer's bulb should not, the, uh, not touch the surface of the beaker. Like if you are measuring the temperature of hot water, never ever the bulb should uh, touch the surface of the beaker. Now, one last important thing that I want to tell you is about the kink. Mm, you must not have noticed kink of course in mercury, like in clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer. But yes, in clinical thermometer kink is there. Now you would say, what is kink and what is the use of the kink? Kink is like, ये कुछ ऐसा curve सा होता है, mercury के पास curve सा होता है. And why is kink required? 
Why is king so important? Because king does not let the mercury level to fall down. But how can you say? you are measuring the temperature of your body and you have high fever for 2 degrees Celsius. You are taking out from your mouth. You see that the mercury level does not fall down back to its position. It always stays in 42 degrees Celsius. If you have 42 degrees Celsius, you know, fever. So, the king is responsible for all this. Because king does not let the mercury level to fall down. And in laboratory thermometer, no king is there. Yes, you heard it right. In laboratory thermometer, there is no king. So, whenever you are measuring the temperature of hot water, ice, anything, any object, you need to bend and you need to go through uh, towards the uh, beaker. Like if you are taking hot water, you should go near the hot water and then see yes, the temperature of water is 110 degrees Celsius. So, this is what is laboratory thermometer. And last important thing is that a human body's temperature, like um, uh, if I would say like medium a human body temperature is always, the normal uh, human body temperature is always 37 degrees Celsius. So guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the lesson, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And yes, don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Stay safe.